subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In Python, you can use a for loop to iterate over two variables simultaneously using the zip function. This is especially useful when you have two lists, tuples, or any iterable objects of the same length, and you want to iterate over corresponding elements. Here's a tutorial with a code example. Python's for loop is a powerful construct for iterating over sequences. When you have two iterable objects of the same length and want to iterate over corresponding elements, you can use the zip function to pair them together. This tutorial will guide you through using a for loop with two variables in Python. Let's say you have two lists, list1 and list2, and you want to iterate over their elements simultaneously. Here's how you can do it. In this example, zip, list1, list2, combines the elements of list1 and list2 into pairs. The for loop then iterates over these pairs, and you can access each element from list1 and list2 within the loop. Lists definition, define two lists, list1 and list2, with elements of the same length. Using zip, zip, list1, list2, creates an iterator that generates pairs of elements, combining corresponding elements from both lists. For loop, the for loop iterates over each pair of elements, and within the loop, you can access each element separately using the variable names, element1 and element2 in this case. Print output, print the elements from both lists within the loop to see the paired values. Using a for loop with two variables and the zip function in Python allows you to efficiently iterate over corresponding elements of multiple iterable objects. This technique is valuable in various scenarios where you need to process or analyze data from multiple sources simultaneously. ChatGPT